Hello, beautiful people on the other side of the screen. You are now tuned in to Audio Tree Live. Today is Wednesday, April 12th, and I am your host, Psalm One. I'm really eager to get into the music today, but before we do that, I want to remind y'all that likes are good, but subscribing to Audio Tree means you get this dope videos on the top of your feed all the time when they drop, so make sure to do that. Also, follow Audio Tree on Spotify. Apple Music, Bandcamp, Tidal, or wherever you stream your music. And today, we have none other than John Roseborough in studio, straight out of Brooklyn, New York, by way of Southern California. This prophetic songwriter is innovating the indie, folk, and post-bossa nova genres with a tender voice that surrounds you in intimacy and poetic lyrics tackling major themes. This is healing music, and I'm really, really grateful I get to share it with y'all today. Ladies, ladies, and gentlemen, get ready for your heartstrings to be plucked. Please welcome the angel of L.A., John Roseboro. I peeled the label off a Topo Chico I turned it in for a couple Because gave the money to a girl's charity I seen the vision started chasing my dreams That will cause, cause, cause It's your lost, lost, lost Now you dance with me with my sisters For a tall Went on the pilgrimage to New York City I started to drink and let my head do this thing Miss some money, met the girl I started when it was in the What's the cause, cause, cause? Is your lost, lost, lost? Now you're dancing, baby. I see you dancing. For a dollar. What's the cause, cause, cause? Is your lost, lost, lost? Now you're dancing, baby. I see you
song for a couple nickels and built the kingdom and became the queen. Beyond the grave, I was the best. Ha! What's the cause? 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 Cause you lost, lost, lost. Now you dance with me, but I see you dance for a dollar. What's the cause? 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 Cause you lost, lost, lost. What's the cause? Cause? John Roseboro, accompanied by fantastic drummer and artist Hunter. How are y'all feeling about that first chunk of songs? Yeah, Hunter. How All are you right. feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, how's tour been? I know it kind of just started, and uh, it's really exciting. Y'all are playing Shubas tonight. Already sold out. That's, That's good true. to see. Yeah. How's tour been so far? Um, I think we really got in our groove. Yeah? And, yeah, it's feeling really good. Um, I saw stalking your IG that y'all went to famous Chicago landmark, The Bean. Mm -hmm. How was that? I really wanted to see The Bean. I wanted to touch The Bean. And was it everything that you, oh, you it wanted more. it to be? It was more. I, I separated my life into two categories, before and after. <laughs> before The Pre Bean? Pre-Bean, <laughs> post-Bean. Why did you want to go see it in the first place? I really need to know this. Yeah, it's just a really, uh, uh, it's an existential thing, you know? Mm -hmm. you, it's something that, it's something that uh, adds to the human experience. Um, it's collectively, I know it's just, a, you know, it's a random, you know, mirrored bean in the middle of Chicago or something, but uh, this is something that we have already interacted with a bunch of times in a bunch of places in a bunch of ways. And uh, a lot of people, I mean, every tribe and tongue has come right <laughs> to go and just see and touch this being and yes. the piece right there and mathematicians love it as well yeah. because it's a full math problem um i heard while we were uh loading in that you had a really wet sandwich oh mr beef <laughs> no i had a dry sandwich us. today yeah we but. had we had um italian beef mm -hmm. um at mr beef <laughs> juicy Wet uh, hot and sweet, life, yeah. wet. It leaves like a puddle. Sure. After you you pull away kind of the mess of it, and there's like this debris left, and it's really it it's leaves the, its mark in in your heart yeah. and also on the <laughs> table. And I can only imagine that there's like decades of film mm -hmm. that have built up. A veneer of beef. Yeah, the, the beef veneer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is a uh, quite. Quite wet and juicy, and yes, the oils of many, many hands and sandwiches are, have fallen on those and tables. Family. Yeah. There's all these childhood photos on the walls. Right? Yeah. It's beautiful. It is. I mean, the 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 best food in Chicago that we could like um, say to come, you know, get. It's just really bad for you, but it's yeah. made with love. So you know, it 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 uh, it, it it evens out. Uh, what else about this tour has been exciting for you besides these uh, energy drinks? I'm sorry, I expected you to answer all the questions. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I've crossed a threshold where I've started eating strange meats from uh, gas stations, both wrapped and unwrapped, eating hot dogs on rollers, uh, Slim Jims. Um, this is just a new portion of my life. I mean, we can we can categorize a lot of things on this as pre and post, pre bean, post bean, pre Seven Eleven hot dog, post Seven Eleven hot dog. You know, I'm personally I'm growing I as a man. The bands, and it was cool to see people sing along, and yeah. um, meet people for the first time, see old friends, and make new friends. Yeah, yeah. you moved a lot, like a lot, from childhood. You, That's true. You said you went to school in Southern California, and uh, yeah, I did. And then moved to New York. So you've mm -hmm. you've been you've lived a lot of different places. Uh, have you? Would you? With this pre and post theme that you have going, how does that 
factor into your life? You know, was there like mm -hmm. a pre Brooklyn? Was there a pre LA? Is there? Sure. Is it just all for sure? I mean, I don't know. I think the trajectory makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, but I'd say right now it's a pre and post Brooklyn. I think I always was going to do this, but now um, there's a lot of pressure because you seem like the type of artist who, you know, you you write the song, mm -hmm. you upload the song, yeah. you share the song, and then you reap the benefits. And you've been doing that since 2020. Mm -hmm. And where was the moment? What are the benefits? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, baby. We're right here right now. That's a benefit. But uh, you have seen the trajectory of your career. Mm. Um, slowly, you know, yeah, rising yeah, yeah. For, yeah. through the fans in particular, right? Yeah. Um, how, real. Where was the moment between, like, maybe before this latest album where you knew the pressure was on and there was, you know? Um, you know, um, it was a bad, bad breakup, bad, uh, bad relationship, bad worst breakup kind of thing. And um, I just didn't have anything, uh, like a car or um, any money or a uh, home. Uh, and I had a couch to sleep on in Brooklyn for a couple of days. And then, um, yeah, through some ingenuity and uh, determination, I'm here. Awesome. In the same position. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. When I, that's when I knew. Your latest album feels almost like a labor of love. You have a lot of voices on there and a lot of different people contributing. Yeah, yeah, some it, fans. These are all fans that have... Uh, fans and friends, but there are some fans on, on the record. That's amazing. Yeah. Like so, so it's been like a community effort, but, you know, it's, it's, it seems like very rooted in, in your life, your story, and your storytelling is amazing, so... Thank you. Yeah. Um, are you ready for another chunk of songs? Sure. Um... Don't see my 
Let's play Empress. Cool. Yeah. It's in the same key. Maybe I'm just a slut, just a fool, trying to justify Breaking all the rules, I cannot run away from my mistakes Maybe I chickened out, but who's chicken now? You got a choice in this, and I'm chicken shit Look, I was wrong, I was wrong Change my name to John Doe, but I feel like John D. Forget my ego, oh, oh. still say the wrong thing. Show me mercy. How to love, right? 
How to Love Right, a beautiful ditty by John Roseboro. Um, so you changed the set list? Was that like a vibe check? What was the uh, what was the reasoning that's just, behind that's that? That's just what I was feeling. I was I really wasn't feeling what was on the set list. I'm sorry. No, 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 no reason to apologize at all. I was just wondering. I, it was very nice. I uh, I really enjoyed that last song. Um, I wanted to ask you the biggest existential question. Sure. What is love? Um, it's a good question. Um, I'm still learning. Still learning? Yeah. Hunter, what do you think love is? Uh, caring and responsibility. Okay. Not the dictionary definition. <laughs> um, John, you're clearly a, a vessel for the music. Do you feel a great responsibility with that or not? Nah? Um, I think everyone has a lot of responsibility especially with whatever talent they have. Um, I happen to know how to play this instrument and make a song. And I think that, uh, yeah. So yes, the answer is yes, but not any more than anyone else. You just happen to be insanely good at songwriting and uh, playing guitar. I guess so. And walking in that purpose. Uh, how long have you been playing guitar? Uh, since I was 13. Okay. Yeah. So pa passively. Yeah. Gotcha. And then you, we were talking earlier, and you said in 2020 you decided to get more serious about everything. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Someone on a YouTube comment asked, um, why haven't you blown up yet? And you said, just share the music, fam. And oh, is that what it said? Yeah, yeah. 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 I thought that was a, a really, a very good answer because I think a lot of artists, fans believe that just because we're be we're able to consume the music, then they're already should be somewhere that we think they should be, or possibly not, you know, not where we think they should yeah. be. So, um, can you speak a little more about how your fans have really like pushed you forward? Um, I mean, if if there was an audience, then I think uh, I just go do something else. Um, I just make the music for the people who have ears to hear it. And if there weren't, then I have no problem doing something doing else. Doing something else. Yeah. Have you had any other odd jobs other than music? I went to school for mortuary science. Okay. Um, I'm a very competent mortician. Gotcha. Um, I did that for years and into the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, uh, I can keep doing that or... Sure. Do something else. I think I'll get back in Brooklyn. I'll probably get a job as a dishwasher. Okay. Like yeah. a like a lot of great musicians and they, great yeah. artists. If they know. take me, I don't know. We'll see. I have to have to get that um that extra job. Um so as far as the Johnny album. Yeah. Uh so what was the was there a different process between doing this album and your previous album? Yeah, um, I got to work with Hunter for about half of it. Um, it turns out we're neighbors, and he's uh, just a blessed person and really skilled. Nice. And uh, easy to work with. This was a chance meeting in Brooklyn? Um, they're, they're all chance meetings. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so the album cover, 
Uh-huh. You were stuck in the airport? What yeah. Was... Yeah, absolutely. I was stuck at the airport. How much art do you do stuck in airports? Uh, um, a lot, actually. <laughs> I have never been asked that, but honestly, a lot. Yeah, I was reading through some of your, you know, song explanations and stuff, mm-hmm. and, you know, layovers, you might write a song, so you were very anointed, and you're a very um, inspired person, and I think even the worst parts of your life can manifest themselves into some of the best music and propel you What's to, the quote? to places other that you didn't know before. What's Plant the quote? sequoias. <laughs> yeah. Such a bar. <laughs> Mad bars. Uh, okay. So are you ready for another chunk of songs? A chunk? Yeah, or, or however many you we'll want. Play, we'll play some music. Yeah. Okay. Feeling inside of the world is upside down
steal my heart and my big thank you to John Roseboro for blessing us today and as always major love to everyone here at Audio Tree spreading the gospel of live music John accompanied by Hunter is currently on tour supporting Ron Gallo and they'll be on the road much more so grab tickets when they show up in your area also make sure to check out his latest album Johnny because you love great music and we want you to thrive once again, likes are good, but subscribing to Audio Tree means you get these dope videos at the top of your feed every single time when they drop. And if you want the audio, you can stream this session on Apple Music, Spotify, Bandcamp, or wherever you bang your music. Finally, follow Audio Tree on social media for more fun content. My name is Psalm One, and I love talking to y'all. Till next time, stay dangerous. All right, so you guys want to do it for real now?